It's often said that lift on a wing is generated because the flow moving over the top surface has a longer distance to travel and therefore needs to go faster. This common explanation is actually wrong. This video shows that the air on the top does move faster, but it doesn't reach the end of the wing at the same time as the air along the bottom. Here we use smoke to visualize the streamlines around an airfoil. We can pause the smoke by briefly interrupting the supply. This gives us lines that travel through the flow as we can see here. And if we now slow the video down, you can follow those lines and that gives you an idea of how fast the flow is in different parts of the airflow. Here you can see it speed up as it approaches the airfoil and it moves faster over the top compared to the bottom. You can see that it reaches the end on the upper surface much earlier than it does on the lower surface. In fact, by the time it reaches the end on the lower surface, the flow has already gone a long way past on the upper surface. This shows very clearly that the flow doesn't take the same amount of time to reach the end of the wing. 